فتلك مظاهر السلام عليكم guys so uh, this is how the planner looks like from the front so we have the width planner i'll explain what this width means in a minute inshallah and so it looks like this the width planner then we have right here as you've seen in the previous stories weekly planner designed and created by yours truly <laughs> uh, when you flip the planner to the back side it's this uh this this is what you see so i'll try to explain kidogo about the like this design and it's like my goal while designing this was this to be as minimalistic as possible so like we don't have so many things going on in the front and not so many things going on um, at the back so like it's just very very simple as you look at it like this is how it looks and from the side like this is how it looks again and this is how it looks you know and then yeah so guys two things before we dive deep into what the planner looks like on the inside so here we have wit w-i-t with planner so wit stands for whatever it takes so while i was designing this planner this was like the perfect name for me to name this planner because it was concurrent it was synerging it was you know going in it was blending with all the things i intended for this planner so that's for the weight and then when you flip it this way you see that there is a line and there's a dot so this is like you know for for a back page for me this signified a lot like you know all sentences all complete sentences end in full stops and that is you know like how i wanted this planner you know to look like so it's like a beginning you know and an end yeah so guys for a little bit more context the size of this planner is a5 i'll put the other dimensions on the screen so that while we are pushing through these stories you can have you know a bit of a clearer image of what we are dealing with on the ground literally on the ground <laughs> so carrying on with the minimalistic theme the first thing that you see when you open up this planner is you know this page you see i know you guys can can see one i know you guys can read but then i want to read it because you know i'm excited like this planner belongs to you have to write your name you can choose to write whatever you want to write at this point you know two things that i want to put on very clearly with this planner is that one it was targeted to be as minimalistic as possible and then secondly it was targeted to be as personalized as possible you are going to see this in a few stories like in the few pages coming on inshallah now guys the more we get into the planner the deeper we get into the planner the more you'll fall in love with it so now this is the first page as you've seen i'm hiding it so like i'm hiding the other pages so that we can go page by page now, when you open after this, the page where like the previous story, this planner belongs to, after you open that page, the next page is this page. I know like this is a calendar, but it doesn't look like a calendar. Now, let me explain something. When you see it this way, it's like blank, like blank, blank kabisa. For example, like this is what we have. Okay, the camera is misbehaving a little bit, but like this is what we have for every month. So we have 12 months. And the reason why I, I designed it to be this way it's following in the next story. It's, it's a lot. Now, Bismillah. So let's talk about this calendar in a little bit more the first way, and in a little bit more depth. The reason why I have it blank this way is for personal, purely for personalization purposes, and like for three things, you know. So one, you can choose to have this calendar and put it in your own way in terms of choose either between the Hijri calendar or the Gregorian calendar. So like that's one, and then two, depending on when you will purchase this planner it doesn't necessarily have to be january it doesn't necessarily have to be april it doesn't necessarily have to be may it doesn't necessarily have to be any time of the year so like whenever you buy it you can actually begin from the top here like any month that you want to begin with and then the third reason again is for like purely personalization purposes where like as you'll see another theme going on to like again building up on the minimalistic theme is that everything is taken every step at a time you know sometimes when you see the calendar in terms of the whole year it always come with sort of like a pressure to it but then the theme that i want us to take on with this calendar is the theme of being of handling things one step at a time so instead of filling out the entire year you have the option of actually filling just maybe one week 
of the year, two weeks, three weeks, one month or two months or three months, you know, however you want it, however slow you want to take it, however at your own pace you want to take it so that you're not overwhelmed and you know you can actually work on specific seasons of your life. You can work on specific projects knowing like maybe the deadlines you have, maybe, you know, the outline and just having, you know, a very good outline, good and personalized out, outline at the same time. So this is the goal of the calendar page, you know. Now, so after the calendar page, we have, this is the next page, as you can see it. And then we have like notes down here. Yeah. So I wanted to talk about the layout of this page. One, we have a quote up here. It says, do something today that your future self will thank you for. So throughout the entire planner, there are three quotes. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, there are three quotes consistently over the rest of the, of the weeks. You know, if you can dream it, you can do it. And then we have do it now sometimes later becomes never so this is like the overall uh, layout of the planner we have um monday we have week here we have monday tuesday and then we have wednesday thursday and then we have friday saturday sunday and then on the last part we are going to have my favorite part let's just talk about it one step at a time now here with this quote um it's an idea that i had and i wanted to utilize it from from the beginning and so guys, the name of the planner itself, you know, the quotes, this quote and the two other quotes throughout the entire planner are to act as a constant reminder that whenever, you know, you're writing down your goals, you're writing down your to-do list on this planner, you're planning out your weeks, you know, your months, like on the calendar, whatever, whatever is, uh, you, you're constantly reminded that, you know, whatever you are doing actually is significant, whatever you're doing is taking a step forward to actually realizing and making your goals and actualizing your goals and making them another reality. Another thing that I was considering while I was designing this planner is this thing over here. You know, I used to plan my weeks back in uni, but then I never used to like see what week I'm currently at. So whatever project you're working on, whatever, whether you're in uni, whether you're a student, whether you're not a student, you know, when you use this planner, it's like you're always reminded to actually include what week you're in in terms of whatever you're actually working on. So guys, carrying on with the minimalistic theme, every single day is divided into this single longitudinal columns where we have Monday, Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with the weekend slightly shortened. And then... The other thing is that we have this notes area where you can write down little notes for yourself, you know, like affirmations, you can write another quote if you want to, you can write things you don't want to forget that are not included in your actual planning. And then the other thing you can do as well with the notes section is that you can include some artwork, you can include some stickers, you can include some decorations, you know, any way to do it, any how you want to do it, it's yours and you can personalize it to the best way that you see fit you know and then let's head over now to my favorite part so every single week is divided into like monday tuesday wednesday Thursday, friday duh and then we have this section where it's like my favorite section we have this reflections part it's a blank page and i'm going to talk about it more into the next stories so guys on to my next favorite part of this planner is the reflections part so at the end of like saturday sunday we have the next page is this one the reflections page where you can actually like it's sort of like, quote, unquote, a journaling page, so like a journal inside a planner, where you can actually reflect upon the previous week before heading over and planning the next week, where you can actually sit down with your thoughts, sit down with your to-do list, and evaluate, like, what did you do in the previous week? How much did you get done? How much, how did you get it done? And, you know, what didn't you get done and why didn't you get it done? Or, like, what you did get done and why did you get it done? You know, I'm a bit confusing, but, like, I know it's a bit confusing, but, like, bear with me here. So, like, this page is focused on that, where you can actually look at the previous week and look at it in terms of your goals. What did you meet? What did you not meet? What can you improve? What can you do better? What can you stop? What can you improve on? You know, like this is the page dedicated for that before heading on to the next week.